Hello everyone, my name is Rick Malava and this is another how-to tips video from simplymaya.com. Uh, one of the questions that's come up in the forum uh, quite often is how you can create a tank track that goes around the wheels uh, on a tank or any kind of a tracked vehicle. Uh, and the most common solution to doing this is to use a motion path if you want to animate uh, the track going around the wheels. Uh, the other uh, the other uh, thing that's often uh, that often comes up is how can you just create a fixed uh, uh, track around the wheels without animating it and uh, I have a little tutorial that I go through that shows how to do that you basically start with the uh, with the wheel primitives and then you delete the faces the the cap faces and then delete some of these uh, faces that are going around the perimeter and then you use the bridge tool to bridge between them and you get a perfect uh, track shape that goes around uh, where the wheels would be. Uh, and that's a separate video. It's on the site uh, and you can go check that out if you want. This video I'm going to cover how you can actually take a tread and animate it moving around uh, a path that goes around the wheels. Uh, and so what I've done here is I created a path and the way that I did that was uh, if I unhide this, I use that technique I was talking about earlier to create this path that goes around the wheels. And you can see what I did here is I just took this wheel uh, and I deleted these faces. Uh, and then I went through and I deleted some of these faces. Right, And then I did the same thing with, uh, with this wheel over here and then I just bridged between the two. All right, and I did the same thing for the other uh, for the other wheels and created this track. The only reason I did this is because I I need a path, I need an uh, an edge loop, and so what I did is I took the the uh, uh, the polygon uh, path that I created that goes around the wheels, uh, and I added some subdivisions in the middle, and then I took and I subdivided it one time. Uh, so that I get a little bit better resolution when I go and I pull a curve off of this uh, surface. So I selected this middle curve and then I just went in and said uh, modify convert and convert polygon edge to curve. And that takes this curve uh, off of that outer curve and that's how I can get the shape. And then I can go in and rebuild this curve uh, to uh, simplify it if I want. Okay. So that's how I created the curve, and then I went into this curve. I didn't really simplify this one. I just left the points that it, it created there uh, for purposes of this demo. And I did, then I just took and sort of shaped it a little bit uh, just to kind of give it the feel that this is going around here and it's sagging down in the middle because there's no, no support. Uh, and this is a very simple uh, track vehicle. There'd be more wheels in here than this, but I just wanted to show the, give you the concept of how to do it. So then the next thing to do and I'm going to show this and I'm going to demonstrate what the problem is. So now I've got a path. I can take this surface and hide it again. So I've got a path that I want this track to follow and a, and a quick track that I modeled up. right? And so I don't want to uh, change my original so I'm going to just do a duplicate of that. I'm going to grab this guy and uh, control D to duplicate it and then I'm just going to take and hide the duplicate so control H so I've got the duplicate hidden so I can always get back to it so now I'm going to take this guy actually I don't need to hide it uh, control Z or I'm going to just undo that that hide operation so I've got this cube I'm going to duplicate it create a duplicate cur uh, uh, track and then I'm going to pick the path and then what I'm going to do is go to animate uh, where's that? motion paths attached to motion path. Let's go to its options and reset them to the defaults and say OK. So what it's done is it's taken the track here and it's attached it to this motion path. Now it's not facing the right way so we're going to fix that and if I go down to the timeline you can see that this moves around the path. Okay, so the first thing to do is let's let's fix the direction that it's going. So, um, if you think about this in advance, you can go to the options and set this up properly. I generally just use the defaults and then fix it after the fact. So, if I go into the motion path near, uh, uh, of this uh, of this uh, track here, 
and uh, in this node I can go and I can say I want the forward direction to be right now it's it's X I want to change that to Z and there you go you see the track is now facing the right the right way now the next problem that comes up and this is the one that was driving me and several other people crazy because I, there's nobody that's really given talked about how you fix this problem and you can see it right here if I start to scroll around right as soon as it gets to that point where it starts to flip underneath where it starts to go upside down you see its up direction changes and it flips and now the the little feet that should be f f facing in are facing out and if I go keep going along those will continue to be facing the wrong way until it starts to flip back right side up again and at that point you see they flip and face down again so you get this flipping so whenever you're going around a path and we've tried all sorts of things like creating another object that's uh, a tat parented to this and is above it and moves with it and trying to make it where it always faces that object uh, and it would get all wacky if you started to move back and forth quickly the the thing would start getting all cattywampus and it would start flipping again and this thing would start becoming uh, uh, you know tilted on the axis and it was just a mess and then another another possibility we tried was creating another motion path above this one and putting an object on that motion path and always having the thing try to face the thing that's on the motion path above it and once again that worked unless you scrub the timeline really fast and then it would go all wonky again uh, and so I've been scratching my head on this because no one seems to want to share the secret of how to prevent this flipping from happening and I finally stumbled upon the solution and it's incredibly simple what you want to do is set this thing obviously you want to somehow set it to uh, face an up vector that's always you know you want this y-axis this top to always be facing outside of this loop right and I all the methods that, that we've tried is by creating another object, putting it above this object and having it face something that's outside of this system of the path and the track. And the problem is the way that the timing works is what, what was causing it to, to break down. And so the solution is the system consists of the path and this track. So we're going to, we're going to do anything to control this track using just the system, which is these two elements. And so, and so instead of creating another element and always putting it above this guy and trying to make it face that element, what you want to do is just say, use this path itself as the world up vector. This path has has an up vector and regardless in whichever way it is as you go around this path that up vector will always face uh, either outside outward of this curve or inward to the curve so what we're gonna do is go over here to world up type and change it to an object right not scene up that's all that's also gonna cause the flipping if I do scene up I'll show you right here uh, and I tr and I scrub along you see boom it flips again okay so scene up won't work. What we want to do is pick object up. We want to pick object up. Wow, okay. Now, what the object that we want it to use the up axis for is going to be this track itself, which is object curve 1. So if I double click that, copy its name, come over here and paste its name, V, and hit return, okay. Now I can see that the up vector for this track it has to be facing in because the feet are facing up. So fortunately, I can come in here and say inverse up. So now the feet face downwards. That fixes that problem. And now the problem is resolved. If I scroll around here, you'll see. Now I'm upside down, but the feet are still facing in. Facing in, facing in, and facing in all the way around. And no matter how fast I scrub it, this was where the problem was happening when we tried to use some things that are outside of the system. And when I say the system, it's the things that are really the path and the thing that you're moving around the path. That's the system. That's the smallest number of things that you can have to try to uh, control uh, this object moving around the path. Anything else you add just starts to add complexity to the system and uh, the problem is the order that Maya moves things in and then 
looks at this thing to try to figure out where the up vector is would would get out of sync if you started to scrub this too quickly and all of a sudden this thing would start rotating around the path and it would start twisting on the path and it would just get all 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 wonky but with using this technique it stays on the path and it stays facing the right direction so that fixes that flipping problem of moving an object along a motion path now in a future video, I'm going to do uh, a tutorial on how to actually animate an entire system of tracks moving around a path uh, in the most logical way. Right now, you can see the U value is what determines where this track is along the path. And the U value right now is simply controlled by whatever your time slider was set to when you created the, did the attached to motion path. Uh, what makes more sense is if I took this whole system of wheels, tracks, uh, and path and I moved this this whole path either forward or backward right and as I move this forward I want to change this track position along the periphery or the perimeter of this of this path and using some simple math I can I can translate the forward motion of the path to a uh, uh, a distance that we want to move this object along this uh, this perimeter of this path right here and we can uh, create an expression to control this path uh, this uh, track moving around the path uh, based on if we move the the whole system forward or backward which makes a lot more sense uh, and then once again because as you can see the track is connected to the path um, I can also do things like uh, take the wheel and these wheels for instance and say these points on the path and I can create a cluster and attach it to these wheels so as these wheels move up and down it affects this path so the path moves up and down and so that if the wheels are going over bumps and things the tracks will also go up and down uh, and follow the wheel motion up and down so you can uh, create a quite complex system using uh, these techniques but I'll cover that in a later video in this one I just wanted to answer that that nagging question of how can I move an object around a path a motion path and not have it flip and the answer is uh, go into the motion path node and use object up and set the object uh, the world up object to the path itself that the object is moving around. So I hope this helps everybody, anybody out who's been trying to uh, uh, deal with this flipping object around a motion path question. Um, I think this is the uh, is the f is the the solution that uh, should work in every in every case. So once again, this has been Rick Malava with SimplyMy.com with a uh, hopefully helpful uh, how-to tip on uh, having an object uh, follow a motion path and not flip. Thanks for listening, guys.